and welcome back to another episode of Come Cook With Us. I'm Chef Joya and on this episode we came up with some ideas that parents can do with your kids or for your kids for them to go back to school and have a nutritious lunch. So we have here some ants on a log which is made from the celery that we have in our back to school box and also some really nice melon pops. So we have pineapple pops and we also have cantaloupe pops. And today I'm going to show you how to not only cut a pineapple and a cantaloupe, but also how you can make these fun little pop treats. So to make these cute and fun pops, you'll need one cantaloupe out of your back to school box, your pineapple out of your back to school box, any type of cookie cutter shape or fun shape that you would like. Also as a tip, you can use wax paper and just draw an outline for this part and some type of wooden stick to penetrate your fruit. So first, to cut a cantaloupe, you want to lay it down on the round side and cut both ends off each side. This is to make sure that your cantaloupe stands up uh, sturdy and that you're able to cut it without it rolling around so you don't cut yourself. Next, you wanna take your knife and tilt it slightly and roll it around the outside of your cantaloupe. You want to do this all the way around until all of the skin of your cantaloupe comes off like so. And if you need to, make sure that you go back with your knife around and get off any of the green outer edges. You don't want any green on the side of your cantaloupe. And you can do this with any melon, a honeydew and also a watermelon. You cut them all the same way. Next, for those of you who may not know anything about a cantaloupe, in the inside are all of these little seeds. So you want to cut it open, and as you can see, there are the seeds in the inside. For the next step, you can do one of two things. You can take a spoon and run it around and pull out the seeds, or if you want to get messy, and you and the kids can take your hands and just run it around and pull all of the seeds out of the middle. Once you have all of the shapes that you want from your fruit, you just take your wooden stick or in this case, a bamboo skewer, and you poke it right through the middle from the bottom. It doesn't have to go all the way through, but just make sure that you have a nice secure um, weight from the end. Once you have all the desired fruit that you want, you can put these in the freezer for two hours or two and a half hours, whichever one you prefer. I prefer to have them just like ice pops, so maybe two and a half hours. Next, I'm gonna show you how to cut your pineapple. And it's kind of the same concept. You wanna turn it on its side and cut off both ends so you have a secure surface to work with and that your pineapple is not rolling all around. And same thing, you wanna tilt your knife slightly and run it around. And as you can see, they have these little eyes on the inside of the pineapple. Make sure that you run your knife down and take off as many of those little black spots as you can. And you wanna do this all the way around your pineapple. Also make sure that you're working with, if not the most sharp, at least a decently sharp knife because a dull knife trying to cut a pineapple might result in an injury and we don't want you to harm yourself. Now the only difference with a pineapple and a melon is a pineapple has a core in the center of it. So you see where this little round circle is? That's the core. So usually when I'm cutting a pineapple, I place my thumb right over the core and usually sometimes away from wherever I want to cut. And you just cut down around your thumb. And you do that for all four sides. And you can take the core and use it for flavorings of water if you decide you want to, to enhance your water, or you can just discard it in the trash can. And just as before with your cantaloupe, you can take any cookie cutter that you want or wax paper outline and firmly press down and remove the outside and push out and you have a pretty little duck. And again, you can just put a bamboo skewer right through the bottom of it or any wooden um, stick that you want through the bottom until the weight is distributed evenly and your stick won't break. 
Once you have utilized your fruit to its capacity and you have all the desired pops you want, don't forget you can put them in the freezer for about two to two and a half hours just until they're firm enough and cold enough. Also, if you do have leftover pineapple or melon from your box, please feel free to utilize these by freezing them, putting them in smoothies, or if you want to cut them into nice little chunks for your kids' backpacks, lunches, you can do that as well. And that's all we have today. Thank you for watching this episode of Come Cook With Us. Again, I'm Chef Joya. Join us in about another two weeks when we'll upload a new video from a new box. See you later.